Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back. This time I'm coming back to you with an O is for Ocean work shelf video for my three-year-old this week, so stay tuned. So it's O is for Ocean. I've updated his workbook. I changed a little sign for O's for Ocean with my little doodle of the ocean. I kept his little, I guess I can call it like a fine motor slash life, life skills book. It's a button zip lace Velcro book that I got from Target a few weeks back. And I will link in the description box my previous workshop video where I go through that and talk about it. But I'm not going to go through that this time. So I'm going to jump right into the activity so we can keep this video um, short and sweet but informative okay so inside of the oceans bag there's 10 um, ocean or underwater sea creatures and what he will do is match them to the cards and the cards have the images and the names of each one of them and I will just say okay that's a manta ray just so he can gain familiarity with the name of the animal Oh, that's a lobster, so on and so forth. So there's 10 of them. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is that I can just keep them all in the bag and have him reach in the bag and feel around and pull one out. And he'll guess what it is before he actually pulls it out of the bag and then match them. I have a video of a review of this activity that I did last year. And I'll also link that in the description box below. It'll go into more details about the different ways that you can do an activity such as this. So I brought back the sensory bin this week and let's see what's inside. So for the sensory bin I kept it really simple. I put some water in there and I put some um, floral beads. These like jelly beads that are really really fun to play around with. And I have a strainer in there that he can play with it as well. And the point of this is just simply for him to just get some sensory um, exposure and to be able to scoop out the objects in there and what we can do is we can sort the shells that are in here there's shells there's a humpback whale and there's an orca or a killer whale and so what he will do is just scoop out the shells and we will sort them by type and we can also just talk about okay this is a humpback whale this is an orca and so on and so forth just a way for him to just have fun play around and just really explore his senses and do some counting and some sorting and and so, so on and so forth with this activity. This tray is always for octopus and what I did was I cut out little squiggly strips to be the eight legs of the octopus and he can continue cutting towards the end and then he will make his octopus by gluing the legs on and gluing the octopus onto the white paper and putting googly eyes on there. So this is just a nice arts and crafts and five motors act skills activity for him to be able to cut and paste and just to have a good time just creating his octopus for O is for octopus. I got really creative with this one right here. I wanted him to go fishing but we didn't have a fishing pole so what I did is I took one of my um, six-year-old's drumsticks and I tied some yarn onto it and what I did was I just took this lid which is pretty much a lid to one of my candles that I usually burn in the classroom and I put some duct tape on it so pretty much what he's going to do is hover over this particular tray with this and he's going to place the lid down poke it and lift up and what he's going to do is he's going to pick up that fish and he's going to put that fish to the side he's going to read the number that's on that fish and order it I have fish that are um, by tens and fish that are 1 through 12 so in the first part of the week we'll probably just do the 1 through 12 he'll pick them up and he'll put them in numerical order and just line them up after he catches the fish and then I want to start exposing him to counting by tens so I thought this was just really cute little makeshift activity and I'm sure he's really gonna love doing that this one is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm kind of just introducing him to the concept of um, number words and sight words and he will just match up the word to each card. And all of these are ocean themed. This is an octopus, starfish, so on and so forth. So what I will do is just have him count the amount on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this says six. Can you find six? And so on and so forth. 
Here is a sand tray that he will practice writing his letters and numbers in. I just put some Dollar Tree sand in a Melissa and Doug container. It was holding magnets. I just put the magnets in another box for now so we can have this tray. And what he will do is just practice his numbers and letters. So O, he'll just use his finger and make an O. Then we'll shake it out and then go on to the next card or I'll probably just have the card propped up like that in front of him and then he can flip it to the next one and do the next thing. So that's just a sand tray for practicing writing his letters and numbers. Here's another simple one. This is just simply some lacing cards that I have that had happened to be ocean themed. So he has, this one has shells and starfish. This one has a crab and this one has an octopus. And he will probably work on one a day, just lacing it, fine motor skills, logic, and um, it fits perfectly in with the theme. So I brought back the section tray. This time I took out the little, um, pom-poms that I have before the little snowballs and I replaced it with shells so what he's going to do is again just use his tweezers and put the appropriate amount of shells in each section so just a simple way to upgrade and change things out by using different manipulatives so that they fit in with whatever themed activity that you're doing and I brought these back again. These are the rhyming clip cards. We had them in our last workshop, but he's really starting to get the hang of this and I do not want to put it away. I just wanna, you know, strike while the iron is hot. He's grasping the rhyming concept and I'm going to keep this in this work shelf for another week until he has totally mastered it. So pretty much what he does is I say cat, what rhymes with cat? Is this cat rhyme with cat? And he'll say yes. And then he'll put the clip over hat so on with each one of these and he's really starting to get it and he really loves it so i'm going to keep this here for another week okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video for our o is for ocean workshelf for this week if you have any suggestions or things that you'd like to share with others who are looking um, to find inspiration for workshops for their preschoolers or toddlers, definitely leave a comment in the comment box below. And I will link any resources that I have for any of the activities that are on this workshop. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. All right, bye-bye.